incredibly disturbing. Yeah, it really is. It's absolutely unspeakable. We spoke with several neighbors tonight. They did not want to go on camera, but they say this elderly lady has been on this block of Berkshire for 30 years and is loved by so many people. They say they're pulling for her in her recovery. Police say that she had surgery. She's in critical condition. They're praying for her as well. If you're looking at a government file mugshot of 33-year-old Essence LaFay Cross of Detroit, she's facing major charges in the beating and robbery of an 81-year-old woman she was in charge. Now, when you beat and rob an 80-year-old woman, you supposed to like, you're not supposed to come to the mugshot like, like what? Yeah, I did it, whatever. Because the judge might see it and the judge wouldn't, but it don't matter. All these bullshit things we think, man, you better not act like that because they're going, no, son, you can do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. Anytime right. you need. Yeah, yeah she, I did it. She, she, she's going to walk in the court and the judge, like, back in the days, you walk in the court like the judge, like, come on, man, you serious? Fuck I'm that. Pistol with the 81-year-old woman? <laughs> she's going to get a bond. Yeah. A thousand percent she's going to get a bond. She didn't kill her and robbery of an 81-year-old woman she was in charge of caring for on the 1,000 block of Berkshire Street in Gross Point Park, according to a neighborhood. You got this fucking she boon out there in this fucking neighborhood? Look at this area. <laughs> With the clean hedges. Hedges trimmed. Line, tree line, streets. Fucking, um, nothing, nothing. It looks like my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Are those tulips? Yeah, this is this is this is a great neighborhood, and you got this fucking she boon out here. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. This, this, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, you bring her around, so you brought her around as the health aide, and now you got this ticking time bomb. You. These people don't know. What if, let's just say you're driving down this street, right? And you cut her off or you get in a fender bender with her and you're somebody from around here and, you don't, and you're not used to this level of aggression or she, she calls her boyfriend, to, can you come pick me up from work today? And he comes and he's like, oh shit, these people out here got money. She like he like yo. I need you to set some people up, man. Find out. I'm about to get all of my And then next thing you know, it's robberies in your neighborhood <laughs> just because her boyfriend picked her up. <laughs> all that happened was her boyfriend picked her up one day from work, and now everybody in the neighborhood is getting robbed. Really? <laughs> Sons just bring so much trouble, man. One degree. <laughs> it's one degree of separation. I mean, I, I, I like to say I like to say two to be generous, but yeah, if I'm really honest, it's like one. I, I be trying to say two to be like, yeah. you know what I mean, generous, but it's one, man. It because if it's not her boyfriend to come pick her up, it's her cousin to come give her a ride, you know what I mean? Her yeah. brother to come give her a ride. Like oh, shit, these motherfuckers, I ain't got money, man. Oh man. shit, we about to you, you, you. You fuck with these people out here. I don't get two shits about these motherfuckers out here. Oh shit, sure. we about to get these motherfuckers. Word, word. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, man. from my neighborhood, and they see somebody with money. The first thing, like, and a rich neighborhood just people? means off-street parking. It just mm -hmm. means you got a driveway. So what you're saying is, it's a good thing some men don't know how to use area vibes. Yo, no, nah, we we the area vibes is useless. If she's out here, the, the, the area vibes thing doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't mean anything anymore. No, I mean sun men using area vibes to pick their targets. Oh, they they must be. Oh, yeah, uh, they yeah, must yeah, be yeah, Sleep yeah. over here. But what? I, but, but listen, though. No, uh, uh, think about it, though. Uh, in this neighborhood, an eighty-one-year-old woman was pistol whipped and robbed. So you have pistol whip. You have assault. You have um, uh, firearm, a, a weapons charge. You have robbery. Um, charge. Robbery. You have um, elder or robbery of somebody. It's probably maybe ten charges there, right? That's probably ten more charges than this neighbor has had in a year. So she just single handedly took <laughs> the crime rate up. 
also too man we that's a bit too abstract for us <laughs> like we yeah. you, you've never yeah, seen the place before like you don't it, it doesn't really work like that we and we also we like crime of opportunity like we don't always play, like half of these crimes that we do i would say 70 percent of them we didn't plan on it mm -hmm. like we literally was walking down the street you know or like your paycheck didn't come today so i'm about to rob this gas station like yeah, you know, real just, <laughs> we don't we don't think that we're we're not like we're we're not that level of sinister yeah you know? it ain't no old lady either got her check or wore some jewelry out and oh my i want that it ain't like oceans 11 man you notice it ain't yeah, no right. so <laughs> it ain't even oceans one yeah it's like oceans yeah. half were you fucking were you fucking you got a guy who know who's playing the route to escape he, he yeah. you got a guy who controls the stoplights we ain't doing all that shit man yeah like, we do all this on the fly no. yeah Open we do this on the could fly. happen if somebody took a wrong turn Right. And went into a different fucking right. neighborhood. Oh shit, look at this. Exactly. Yeah. And and but you have if these motherfuckers got door knockers? Oh, they're yeah. loaded. <laughs> yeah, we just stole cars like though. that and bikes back in the days. We were stole bikes like that back in the days, like, oh they got nice bikes in the camp. Exactly. Oh word. Yeah. You tell your man and the Cambridge just got turned out. We didn't take bikes from <laughs> <laughs> all them Harvard Harvard kids and Harvard professors and all that shit. We take all their bikes and shit. Like, you get that. Right. Yes, man. You tell were, you, hey, where are you from? Roxbury or something? Dorchester. Oh, Dorchester. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, man. I, this Listen, man. This, this woman is entrenched in that neighborhood. She's the health aide for somebody. So she was... Like she had to be there all the time, man. Just a ten. And that movie. look at the camera, my God! All I can think of is if I climbed off of her after a three pump jump night, and that's what I look down, and that's the look I get. That's yeah. that's, that's 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 a that's that's I don't give no fucks. When am I getting out <laughs> so I can go back? I gotta pick up my kids. I gotta pick up my kids. When are y'all let me out? robbery of an 81 year old woman she was in charge of caring for on the 1000 block of Berkshire Street in Gross Point Park, according to authorities. Cross is charged with assault with intent to murder, armed robbery, home invasion first degree, unlawful driving away of an automobile, and four counts of felony firearm. The charges are appropriate. It was a, um, a horrific scene, a horrific uh, incident that happened to this Victim. Prosecutors say it was just after 3 a.m. on Friday, March 5th, when Cross allegedly forced herself into the elderly woman's home and struck her in the head with a handgun before robbing her and taking off. You know, I thank God she's a, she's a strong lady and she's, you know, she's survived this, but she's got a long road ahead of her, so... Um... I'm glad we were able to take the person responsible into custody right away. First responders rushed the 81-year-old to the hospital. Cops say she was able to give key information to investigators that helped generate leads, which guided them to the suspect vehicle at a house around I-94 and Van Dyke in Detroit. Officers stopped the car and got crossed after a short foot chase. Police have advice for families who have seniors under special care. Make sure you know who's at your door. Make sure you know who's on the phone. Make sure you know who you're allowing into your house um, and make sure that they have somebody they can call anytime, day or night, just to, just to check and get advice from, you know, is it okay for me to open the door for this person or, or something? I think that would have helped. The suspect in this case was arraigned this afternoon and given a $2 million bond. Reporting live in Gross Point Park, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News.